So now we have everything set up. We have our directory structure and composer uh, all ready to be used. The final thing that we need to do before we can get on with some coding is to set up a rewrite rule so all requests are pointed to this index file. So if we were to go to user PHP, we're going to get a 404 not found. That's because we don't actually have a user.php file inside that folder. But what we want to do is handle these web requests ourselves by creating some sort of router. And obviously we can't do that if the user is being pointed to a different file. So our goal for this lesson is to set up Apache so all requests get pointed to this index.php file. So to do that is very simple. All we have to do is go to public and create a new file called htaccess, uh, .htaccess, sorry. And we're going to say rewrite engine on. We're going to set a rewrite condition. We're going to request the file name and that's going to be for files. We're going to duplicate that line for directories and then we're going to set up a redirect rule. Uh, we're going to put in a regular expression. This basically means anything at all. So the user can type anything at all into this address bar and he will still be pointed to index.php. And we're going to point him to index.php and we're also going to pass in whatever he's requesting so we can access it for the router. So all we need to do is put in dollar sign zero uh, it's basic regular regular expression. And then we're just going to put PTL inside of there. So now what we need to do inside of our SSH or our VM, we need to restart Apache. Pseudo service Apache to restart. And then once that's done, if we refresh in our browser, we're not quite finished. We should get an internal server error. And the way that, well, the reason this is, if we just check the logs, so we'll just sign into our super user account. Uh, we'll say cat var log apache2 error.log. And down here you'll see invalid command rewrite engine. Perhaps misspelled or defined by a module not included in the server configuration. So there are two ways we can fix this. We can either go into the Apache configuration file and change a few things or we can take the easy way and we can just simply run a command. So all we have to do is say sudo a2n mod rewrite and you should get a message like that. And then we need to restart Apache as usual. So sudo service Apache to restart. Perfect. So if we refresh now, we still get this hello world uh, message that was actually on our index page. And what we can then do is say something like PHP uh, echo server, uh, is it, I think it's something like that. Yeah, and then we can actually see whatever the user is requesting and send that off to our router class, which we'll be making a bit further down the line to handle. 